I'm back in Arkansas today. I wasn't even planning on recording this, but I figure what the heck, if I'm going to take the time to set it up, I just as well uh, go ahead and make record of it too. So if you were with me on the last episode, you saw me, I got as far as pulling a twine through this. Now a twine on longer pulls doesn't work even if it's an easy pull because what it'll do is to cut into this plastic and it'll actually, if you've got a long enough pull, it'll pull completely through the plastic or at the very least get in a bind in it. So what I did is I pulled a piece of 5 16 rope through that is rated at 200 pounds, which is just about the same as what this wire weighs. I have three number twos that'll be the load carrying conductor and then a number six ground to pull, I guess it was just under 220 feet. So First thing I did, did was to uh, get set up, of course, kind of a jury rig setup, but I think it'll actually work pretty well. Um, identified my leads, my red, I left the black black, and then a white, and then the ground is obvious because it's a smaller diameter wire, so that I hook up everything right when I get to the other end, and then I've ident identified my spools too. So now I'm ready to go ahead and hook up the 5 16 rope that I've got through there, and uh, I'll get ready to pull. Okay, I think I've got it all ready to go, all taped up and got all oh, the major catching points out of the way, as best as possible anyway. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't go too hard, but I've got a feeling it probably will. Now, this is a long enough run. I'm, I'm running through two inch conduit, so this bundle is only about three quarters of an inch, which seems like it should be pretty easy and only pulling around two bands. I hope it's not too hard, but I am going to go ahead and put lubricant on it. So what that means is I'll go to the other end and I'll pull three to five feet and then have to come back and, and gooey up the lines here, go back and pull another three to five feet. It's going to take some time to do this, but hopefully I'm successful. I don't really mind if it takes some time. I've got, uh, I think it's around one o'clock in the afternoon, so I've still got plenty of time left in the day. Um, I'm going to go have some lunch and take a break, maybe have a cup of coffee or a soda, and I'll be back to start pulling in a little while. Okay, I believe I am as ready as I can be. There is a lightning storm moving in, so I think I'm going to take a little break. Common sense tells me it's probably not a good idea to be handling something that is designed to carry electricity during a storm. So I'll be back when this lets up. It's starting to pull pretty hard on the other end. I'm working between rainstorms and uh, I'm in about halfway now. I think I'm in about 110 feet. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move the camera to the other end and I'll probably stop recording here for a little while until something more exciting happens. See you in a little bit. Okay, well it took me about three hours. Uh, the storm's cleared out, the sun is coming out, and uh, I was able to get it pulled all the way through. What I'm going to do now is to pull through another four feet if I could get it and then go ahead and tie it into the panel on the inside and then I can pull all the slack back um, toward the cabin. Now in the cabin, I've got, all, I ordered an extra 20 feet or so of cable, which will be enough to get me into the cabin once the cabin is finished. But for right now, I'm going to put up an, a temporary exterior panel 
um, coil up the extra cable and then uh, be able to use that in the future three years down the road or whenever I get to uh, moving a new service into the cabin. Uh, right now I'll go ahead and pull an extra few feet. I'll clean it up and I'll separate the wires, pull all my tape and uh, get it fed into the uh, barn here and I've got that LB to put back on. Okay, I've got everything tied in and turned off at the other end, all cleaned up at the barn. I'm ready to start working here. And what I will have is, I will have essentially a great big junction box, 16 by 20, sitting right here. A small panel there and then a couple of outlets down there. And then I'll cut these off and put a little tiny roof over the top of it just to minimize the weather it gets. But everything that I'm putting in here is weatherproof. 20 feet of extra cable, I planned that again so that um, I could uh, use it in the future and not have to worry about splicing or putting in, putting in additional junction boxes and such. So that's all ready to go. I'm ready to set that box next. Gosh, the humidity is really high today. The temperature is only 71 degrees, but it's going to be a hot one. It's supposed to be into the 90s in Fayetteville today, which means it'll probably get up close to 80 today. I have the cabinet now set that will contain all this wire once it's coiled up. I need to put a hole in the side of the cabinet for um, a penetration to go into the panel that'll sit right here and then outlets below that. So here I go with that. All right, everything is neatly coiled up in here. I've got breakers in there just to fill up spaces um, because of cutouts that were already open on the covering panel here. So that one there is live. It's a GFI breaker feeding that. I've got power turned on and I, I guess I could see if it trips. It does. So we got power at least to there. The ultimate test is to plug something in and see if that works. Let's go. And my cord shows there's power. Let's see what the saw says. I like that. So I'll go ahead and put this cover on. And then uh, I think for now, all I'm going to do is I'll trim that, build a little roof over the top of it just to help prevent a little weather from getting in, and then run extension cords into the cabin and run everything off of that. And for the next two or three years, that'll be just plenty. Um, it'll be here just like this, and as long as it's working, it's working. I'm satisfied. Let me get a cover on here, and then we'll end the episode. I got a little makeshift roof on it, and I will say that this is not the picture of pretty that I normally want everything to be, but since this is just temporary power, all it has to be is functional, and that it appears it is. I'll end this episode here saying thanks. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you later. Goodbye.